Regardless of the age of the group you teach Bible study curriculum to, uh, summertime is a wonderful time to reach out to them, to build community, and to really grow. Um, not to stop and do nothing, but really grow and to do a lot of outreach. And there's some opportunities that you have. Um, one is picnics, you know, just having a, a good old-fashioned fellowship potluck, uh, maybe going to a park and just getting to hang out and remember what it's like to really have community and conversations and not sit around the TV or whatever. And other options, you know, sports, um, you know, even down to kickball or badminton or whatever it is your group is in, maybe a frisbee golf tournament, I don't know. Um, you have to think about your group, your needs, your community, your culture. Um, but, you know, getting into playing sports and, and not just like, you know, you could have a guys night and a girls night, but, you know, really do a family thing. Get the kids involved, too, if, if that's the age or the stage of life your group's in. The other one's big events. Um, this would be, you know, if you live in, like, a metropolitan area and there's a sports team, um, or even a smaller town, there's a minor league team. Uh, like, minor league baseball is great. Um, it's just a cheap, affordable, great time, wonderful event, very family-friendly atmosphere. Um, and so just doing things like that, you know, concerts, um, museums, stuff like that. So just look at those big events that are coming up. So I encourage you to think about the summer, think about the opportunities before you, and take full advantage of it.